Central sleep apnea is the episodic reduced ventilation during sleep in the absence of upper airway obstruction. This is also called nocturnal hypoventilation. Compare it with obstructive sleep apnea by watching our video on obstructive sleep apnea hyponia syndrome. The link is now showing on the screen on the right upper side. And it is also given in the description. Central sleep apnea is much less prevalent than obstructive sleep apnea. Central sleep apnea occurs when there is an altered ventilatory drive, or when there is an inability to adequately expand the chest. Loss of ventilatory drive can be a result of brainstem abnormality, for example, in post-polio syndrome or after brainstem stroke or ventilatory suppression, caused by opiates and alcohol. On the other hand, the normal ventilatory mechanism can be impaired by conditions, such as myopathies like Duchenne muscular dystrophy, myotonic dystrophy, neuropathies, for example, motor neuron disease, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and neuromuscular junction abnormalities, for example, myasthenia gravis. Chest wall expansion is also affected by musculoskeletal conditions, such as scoliosis and severe ankylosing spondylitis. Severe obstructive airway disease also impairs ventilation, and the effect is exacerbated by coexisting OSA, obesity, and or muscle weakness. Heart failure patients may exhibit sinusoidal cycling between hypoventilation and compensatory hyperventilation. This is called Shane Stokes breathing. It occurs most often when left ventricular failure influences ventilatory drive. These patients may also present with the same signs and symptoms as those with obstructive sleep apnea. In addition, they have the features of the condition that have caused their central sleep apnea or hypoventilation. Patients can also present in acute type 2 respiratory failure or with features of core pulmonal. Sleep studies remain the mainstay investigation here as well. These are used to differentiate between obstructive sleep apnea hyponia syndrome, central sleep apnea, and nocturnal hypoventilation. Blood gases can demonstrate the presence of type 2 respiratory failure. And pulmonary function tests can assess ventilatory muscle strength. History and examination will often reveal the underlying cause for CSA or hypoventilation, but further targeted investigations may be necessary. Overnight home non-invasive ventilation improves symptoms and, in many conditions, prognosis. Sedating medications shall not be used unless used for palliation. Avoid consumption of excessive alcohol. Optimizing heart failure treatment can reduce Shane Stokes breathing, but patients who remain symptomatic may benefit from CPAP or nocturnal oxygen.